Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. As many of you probably know, Microsoft pushed out Windows 10 on July 29th of 2015. But what many of you may not know is that Microsoft 10 seems to be more like Big Brother wrapped up in a really neat package. Most people don't read the service agreements or the terms of service or any of the stuff that's put out there by the manufacturers as software and other things, but some people do. Thankfully, some people enjoy watching grass grow, which is slightly more exciting than reading Microsoft's 12,000 word service agreement for Windows 10. Now, if you think that Microsoft has everybody's best interest at heart, and they're just wanting to make money, then think again, because this one might just blow your mind. Now, I'm going to read a fairly lengthy paragraph, so bear with me as I get through it, but I'd really like you to pay attention because of what it says. And then I'd like to think, like you to think to yourself, are they really going to do what's in my best interest? All right, so here it goes. Quote, Finally, we will access, disclose, and preserve personal data, including your content, such as the content of your emails, other private communications, or files in private folders. When we have a good faith belief, that doing so is necessary to 1. comply with applicable law or respond to valid legal process, including from law enforcement or other government agencies, 2. protect our customers, for example, to prevent spam or attempts to defraud users of the services or to help prevent the loss of life or serious injury of anyone, 3 operate and maintain the security of our services, including to prevent or stop an attack on our computer systems or networks. Or four, protect the rights or property of Microsoft, including enforcing the terms governing the use of the services. However, if we receive information indicating that someone is using our services to traffic in stolen intellectual or physical property of Microsoft, We will not inspect a customer's private content ourselves, but we may refer to the matter, may refer the matter to law enforcement. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty clear what they're doing here. They have access to every single thing on your computer, anything you say, anything you do. And oh, don't worry, guys. We're only going to use, you know, use this against you or, keep track of this or do anything with it when we just need to comply with the applicable laws or to protect our customers. You know, like when people spam you, that sort of thing, or to maintain the security of our services or to protect the rights of property of Microsoft. And what's funny is that if they receive information that indicates someone's using their services to traffic in stolen intellectual property or physical property of Microsoft, They're not going to inspect your computer, but they're going to refer to law enforcement, which is funny because the parts right before that just said that, hey, we're going to access every single thing on your on your hard drive. Does that seem a little weird to you? Seems weird to me. So apparently Microsoft gives you the option to opt out of many of the privacy things that allow them to pull all the information that comes into or goes out of your computer. But... Whether that's true or not, I I seriously doubt it. I really doubt that they will allow you to turn that off. But they may make you think that you've turned it off. Anyway, now I haven't installed Windows 10 on my computer. And that's because I just assumed that that this whole thing here was what they were going to do whenever they announced that Windows 10 would be the final Windows operating system. It just sent up red flags to me. So I haven't downloaded and, and installed it yet. While I would like to give you a play-by-play about how to turn the settings off that supposedly keeps Microsoft from seeing all this stuff, I can't because I haven't used it. But it's going to be in settings, and then you'll click on privacy. They say you're going to see about 13 different screens, and you're going to want to go through all of that. And you're going to want to turn anything off that looks, you know, like it might be worrisome. Anything that will automatically send information to Microsoft service. So if you see something and it says, oh, we want to get this information from you to better serve you in the future. Yeah, that's probably something you're going to want to turn off. 
that's none of their business. And if they can't figure it out on their own, then f them. Anyway, now this part of the video kind of sucks because I have a Windows 8 mobile device that I purchased just to test out Windows 8 and see what it was like. But I don't use it. Now Cortana is a pretty awesome tool. And the fact that you can have Cortana set a reminder when you get to a store for you to pick something up or to buy something or whatever, that's pretty pretty sweet. But Cortana needs to be turned off for Microsoft 10 if you want to keep anything private because Cortana is always listening to you. Everything that you say and any conversations you have around your computer or within listening, dis you know, listening from your mic, um, it'll all be sent to Microsoft servers. And what they do with that data, you know, who knows? Who knows what they'll do with it? Now, I created this video because I'm well aware that Microsoft, Google, Yahoo, Facebook, all these big companies like that, are they're all working with the government. Probably the Department of Defense, you know, whatever they can get their hands on. You know, they're creating dockets or whatever, you know, a, a file on everybody in the world, probably. But more specifically, everybody in the United States. Now, because I get this, I think it's extremely important that everybody else understands it as well. And while most people have their Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff, and they have a lot of information out there on the web about themselves, things are going to get pretty sticky in the near future. The less data the government has about you, the better off you're going to be. Especially if you don't buy into the official story every time they come up with one. So now you're aware of the horrible things that are within the 12,000 word service agreement that you will agree to if you download and install Microsoft 10. And if the government and Microsoft start stealing all of your data, it's your own fault from here on out. Information is power. Knowledge is power. This is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Peace out.